Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use touch command in Linux. The touch command is the easiest way to create new empty files in Linux. It is also used to change the timestamps on existing files or directories. So let's see how we can use it. So first of all, I will open my terminal. And as you can see on the desktop, I have a directory called dir. So I will just cd to the desktop first of all. So cd desktop and then I will just cd inside the directory. Okay. And uh, let's uh, list all the content of the directory. So I will just do ls minus l for long list. And you can see this directory contains five files, file one, file two, file three, file four and file five. And you can see the time of the files, uh, uh, which is the timestamp at which they are created or updated, right? Now, uh, for example, we want to create a new empty file. We can use a touch command to create a new empty file. And to uh, create a new empty file, you just need to write touch, which is a command. And then there can be options for touch, but the simplest way is to give the name of the file. So you can see uh, the directory already contains five files and I want to create a sixth file. So I can just say file six and press enter. And then I will uh, just list all the files once again now you can see file 6 is created right and the timestamp of this file is the time right now which is uh, 11 22 p.m. right which is the creation uh, of uh, this file timestamp of this file right and these files are created at uh, 10 05 or, or 10 05 p.m. you can say right so the first uh, you know use of touch command is to create a empty file you cannot create a directory using a touch command you can uh, only create an empty file right now uh, earlier with uh, touch command I have all only used the name of the file I can even give the you know extension of the file for example file 7.txt or cpp or any other extension and it will create it okay and let's list out all the contents and you can see the file is created and because we are using uh, the long listing so it's also showing the permissions and uh, the timestamp at which they are created or modified right now the second use of touch command is to change the timestamp of a file so let me clear this uh, terminal first and I will do ls minus l once again and uh, you can see uh, the time at which these files are created or modified now for example I want to uh, you know change the timestamp on these files uh, at which they are uh, you know modified or created then what I can do is I can use the touch command on them okay so if the file doesn't uh, exist and if you use uh, touch command then it's going to create this file right and if file already exists and you can uh, if you use uh, the touch command on this file which already exists it's going to update the timestamp of uh, this file to the current uh, you know timestamp right so you can see current timestamp is uh, 2324 and I want to change the timestamp of uh, this file one. I can just do uh, touch file one and press enter. And once again, I can do uh, ls minus l. And you can see file one timestamp was earlier 2205, and right now it's uh, 23024, right? So, in this way, you can update the timestamp of uh, the file using a touch command okay so these are the two uh, basic uses of touch command first is to create empty files 
and second is to uh, update the timestamp of a given file so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now